<coughs> hey everybody, this is Game Freak 1014. Welcome back to more Let's Play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I'm not sure when you guys will see this, unless it do me recording it a month, two, or three out, recording this June 2024. The uh, 200 C final 200cc time comes video for Wave 5. <coughs> First up, bath in his dash. This one is my staff ghost. Or my staff ghost. This one is my ghost. So, this one I did beat. There'll be a reason, a couple reasons later on in this video why I'm actually mentioning that. I haven't mentioned that in the previous one. <laughs> wow. This is just like all the rest of my ghosts that I beat the staff ghost. Um, what time before I beat the staff ghost star? Ones I did last year, Checking something in my game capture software. <laughs> also, just remember catch that so I don't have to wait for the freaking startup again. <laughs> Yeah, I had a decent lead on the ghost. Considering how ridiculous difficult these staff ghosts are to beat when you're not a Mario Kart slash time trials god. Or one of the ghosts, whatever. <clears throat> Me and this Disney Cruiser 1-2. There will be a lack of commentary in this, apologies to that, but whatever. Oh crap, I accidentally went to race it, damn it. Then I screw up and hit the wrong options and they change course, mother frick. Yeah, epic failure. I guess not. <laughs> Considering Wiggler was first playable in Mario Kart 7 when it comes to the Mario Kart series, and uh, this course was brought back in Mario Kart 7, I was glad, I'm glad that I was able to beat the staff goes with the combo with Wiggler. <laughs>
Yeah, I barely beat this one. <clears throat> King Boo is playable on Double Dash, but still. And considering this was my first Mario Kart game with King Boo in it, I'm glad I was able to beat this one with King Boo. This vehicle right here, I can't remember what it's called. It's one of the uh, Mercedes vehicles in the game. Looks quite similar in size. Not exact same shape, but definitely similar to the Honey Coop and Mario Kart Wii. Here's one I did not be. I didn't want to screw with it. I will, other than I probably wouldn't have anyway, but I will definitely get more depth why when I get into another course. But yeah, and uh, get into what, how I'm going to be handling the remaining time house videos I have to do. But for now, I will just see this since I'm not getting be beating this staff ghost. I don't know if it's currently this. Uh, World record or not for speed using Sprint, but when I downloaded this the other day from when I'm recording this, the, at the time, this at the very least, this was the world record score technical. No, wrong thing. I want to look at the thing. Um, technical. It used the <clears throat> hammock combo with straight old, zero older, and paper to wire. All these people that do this time trial and stuff for getting world records, they, they, they are insanely skilled with all the freaking frame perfect inputs you have to freaking do for everything on this. It's absolutely crazy. <laughs> To see how they for the second life that pay attention on the first life that I was talking, how they handle the fan section because it's all too easy. Like, as far as I'm concerned, it's next to impossible with what that damn fan blowing you. Well, one thing to circumvent that is use the mushroom to ride on the, the uh, drive over the soap right up next to the fan so you don't have it blow you way over.
back to ones where I did beat the staff ghost, and now they're just barely beat. So yeah, Rosalina was all standard combo now unless I'm wrong about the uh, glider. Okay, yeah, it is all regular, because I figured it was a super glider, but wasn't sure. Yeah, so less than a minute, but still, or I mean less than a second, but still decent. I use pipe frame, cushion wheels, the Captain Falcon outfit on the me. I don't remember the glider offhand. <laughs> Liar panels in this course. Oh, you can't actually see the thing, what the glider is I used. <laughs> Let's see. It was super glider. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of just barely beat one again, but I got it. I use the same combo as the Staff Ghost. Made it work.
Hey, here's the other ghost that I didn't beat. Now, Squiggling Sprint, I tried beating it last year, just like Vancouver Velocity. The other day when I'm recording this, I actually did try and beat Vancouver Velocity, and eventually it's like, you know, forget this, I'm not wasting time on this anymore. I am done messing with any more Staff Ghost stuff, so unfortunately I won't be doing any of the Staff Ghosts for Wave 6, but those videos will be coming, so for the rest of this, I'm just downloading... Uh, I already downloaded for Wave 6, so they'll probably, those records will probably be beaten when I get recording those, but regardless of whether or not they have been, those will be the world records from when I downloaded them the week prior to me recording this video. I'll mention that in that next video, but anyway. So, I don't just screw with taking the hours, and it would be literal hours of time. Very possibly over 10 hours, if not over 20 hours, to beat all 16 of the sacos of the final wave in addition to the two I didn't beat here for 260 for wave 5 for me to freaking beat go you know, for beating those staff ghost times for wave 6 and I'm I've got too many other things I to do between life obligations and then video game things I'm wanting to do so I'm not screwing with it so I'm doing the role like it's even though with all the time that I spent beating all the staff ghosts for ways one through four, and then all of them in wave five, except for these last two 200 CC ones. It's like I'm not putting, wanting to put the hours or time into it anymore. So I'm just showing off world records in placement of, so I at least show something off for um, times that beat the uh, staff ghost time for this let's play. But anyway. Vincent must be a Mario Kart goat, an absolute Mario Kart goat, considering he, he had at least two or three of these staff goals world records. But anyway, and I, there, there were one, two or three of that, at least two or three uh, I downloaded as of freaking early June 2024. Shinuki card, GLA tires, and paper lighter. Interestingly, for this part, he does not take that usual cut. He actually goes around. Interesting that going that way as opposed to taking the cut is actually faster, apparently, somehow, considering it's the world record, or at least was the day I downloaded the uh, Time Trials Ghost. Then he does a little bit of freaking Marker Deluxe style snaking. Not exactly the, snake, the true snaking from Marker DS was so. Third section is super short. I mean, you know, 150 cc, I'm sure it's short, or, but it's definitely short slash super short. Like, just when it comes to how, how of what portion of the race it is compared to either one of the first two laps, let alone the two, first two laps combined sections, whatever it's supposed to be called when it comes to the uh, Mario Kart Tour tracks, because. Some of them re you re race on parts you already race on before, and it's not entirely unique like the true section races, like uh, sadly on 64 in the road, and then you got one. I can't think of any others right now besides Mount Wario. Anyway, guys, that said, that's it for this video. If you guys all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time for Mark Predict the Lux. Most likely, the next thing you guys will be seeing will be my. One hundred after this will be my one unless I change things up differently. They will be my one hundred fifty cc 
my final one under the disease tea time, hopefully. But anyway, bye, everybody.